Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Fedora 41 release party. My name is Aoife Maloney. I'm the Fedora Operations Architect, and I'm joined in this session by uh, Neil Gompa, very, very well-renowned uh, Fedora contributor around the project, but he's here today to talk to us about the excellent features and the development that went into Fedora KDE for the F41 release. Pass it over to Neil to walk us through. Hi, yeah, I'm here, very excited as the chair of the Fedora KD SIG to talk to you about Fedora KD41 and all the cool stuff that's part of this new release. So um, there's a bit about me. There's You can see I've done a lot of things over a lot of places. Most notable stuff is, you know, all the uh, in, in various positions of leadership and committees and, and working groups and, and special interest groups in Fedora. And I have other stuff like my own podcast, and I'm also a consultant at Velocity Limitless. Uh, so yeah, that's that's just me in a brief. Uh, and but we're here to talk about Fedora KD, and we can't talk about Fedora KD without talking about the SIG. Fedora KD SIG is a special interest group that packages and maintains the Qt stack as well as the KD software ecosystem for Fedora and Red Hat Enterprise Linux, starting with Rel8. Uh, we develop and maintain the variants of Fedora Media with KD software on it. Of course, Fedora loves KDE. You can check it out. We even have a fancy brochure site all about it. Um, so when we talk about KDE, that's the community. Uh, but what the community produces is a platform called KDE Plasma. And KDE Plasma is this feature-rich desktop environment and, uh, and set of technologies for Linux-based operating systems. It's aimed to be, you know, the, the phrase is simple by default, powerful when needed. It's straightforward and understandable while being customizable and flexible to make the system more of your own. KDE Plasma is built on top of KDE frameworks, which are the base libraries that extend on top of Qt to support uh, Linux-based experiences, and of course, the Qt library framework. So what's new this cycle? Well, with Fedora, uh, Fedora 41, we are shipping KDE Plasma 6.2. The big thing about KDE Plasma 6.2 is that it's friendlier to all. The, it continues on the efforts that we've done, starting with Plasma, going all the way back the past 10, 10 years, but more recently with Plasma 6 that we launched with Fedora 41, uh, to build on the solid foundation, the high quality Wayland experience and providing these polish and finishing touches to make it an experience that you can own and feel good about uh, in your day to day. So speaking of those that are day to day, KDE for the artists and the people who dabble like myself and some others, you know, we now have some better tools for artists. In particular, um, we now have support for configuring and calibrating drawing tablets. And this is now built in leveraging a newer stack built with libinput and uh, on Wayland. So, and, and as a part of that, we now have a much bigger coverage gamut of hardware and supports. It's not just Wacom, it's also Huon and a few of the other ones that are out there. But if your tablet's not supported, we are actually working upstream within KD to bring even more of those things supported within the mainline experiences. And this is important for us because the KD community has been big on supporting the creators and the creative types with tools like Krita, um, Caden Live, and others. We provide the experience, the the necessary capabilities for people to build and create interesting digital art and artwork. And speaking of artwork, we also are more colorful than ever. Um, with Plasma 6.2, we have full support for wide color gamuts um, in Wayland, as well as Wayland native color management. We support the latest draft uh, Wayland protocol for color management and have it enabled by default. So applications that expose support for this, or if you're using the Vulkan HDR colored layer package that exists in Fedora um, with supported applications and games and workflows, this will, you will get a uh, high dynamic range as well as wide color support um, with supported displays and drivers and all that other fun caveats. Um, these new features and capabilities make KD Plasma the best desktop to take advantage of the latest and greatest display hardware. And we can't forget just, it's not just about displays, it's also about being able to work with the machine. So KD Plasma is even more accessible. Um, we've had a community-wide initiative for several years now where we've been trying to improve the accessibility of the desktop. Um, again, part of 
having this Wayland experience that we fully control and are able to scale and, and, and upgrade and tailor for our needs, we're able to offer features for people who have color blindness, um, offering color correction presets and configurable color correction modes, um, as well as being able to support sticky keys for folks with limited dexterity. Um, there's much more coming down the pipeline. We're constantly working on this. And again, this is because we have this awesome stack to work on top of and great people who care a lot be about being able to support even more people on our platform. And being able to support more people on our platform, we're now more mobile. So we have a new spin this cycle. So with Fedora 41, we now have the KD Plasma Mobile Spin. This is a new spin that leverages the Plasma Mobile overlay um, on top of the Plasma platform to give you a touch and mobile-oriented experience. For now, the target is tablets and two-in-one laptops, but hopefully phones will be part of our future. So if you're interested in this sort of stuff, come and talk to us, uh, and, and let's see what we can do to, to kind of accelerate the work around this new and exciting spin. So how do you get KDE Plasma? The flagship spins are available uh, from the Fedora Project website. And we also have um, Fedora Kinoite, which is our um, container flatpak centric um, atomic updating uh, desktop based on using RPM OS tree. Uh, this is an alternative experience of the flagship KDE Plasma desktop experience that lets you leverage these technologies to see how you could do it you know, in a slightly different way. And we have famous, uh, you know, some famous derivatives such as uh, Universal Blue Aurora and Bazite. Those are great, ex uh, great experiences built on top of Kinoite that you should go check out. So what's coming soon? The thing that I'm super pleased to announce is that we are on track for having Fedora KDE Plasma Desktop upgrade to edition status for Fedora Linux 42. This is being supported by the newly forming Personal Systems Working Group. This is a little bit of an experiment of creating a working group that uh, supports uh, not just what we're doing within KDE, but people that are, you know, around our circle of orbit. You know, reaching out to folks that work that do KDE-based derivatives, as well as things like Fedora Sahi, which is both KDE and GNOME, as well as the you know related um, spheres that are typical for things like um, handhelds, game uh, gaming handhelds, um, tablets, mobile phones, that sort of thing. So keep be on the lookout for more interesting stuff around that in the coming months. Um, but in addition to that, we are also so close. We are we're nearly there for being able to provide you Plasma 6 for CentOS and RHEL 10 users. So CentOS Stream 10 is, uh, you know, percolating. And Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10 just had its beta release. Um, this will allow you to be able to use a KDE Plasma experience on that platform. And so if you are big on using Enterprise Linux for your desktop, but you want an awesome, you know, flexible, powerful desktop experience, or even a mobile experience, I guess, if you want to put Enterprise Linux on a tablet. Be on the lookout for that. That's coming really soon now. So if you're interested in, in helping out with all this stuff, feel free to come and join us. We've got our uh, our project issue tracker on uh, Bagger.io and the mailing list, as well as a matrix room where we coordinate and do all of this work. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, I hope you enjoy Fedora 41 with KDE Plasma. Thank you so much, Neil, and thank you to the wider KDE SIG for all of your efforts in this in this release. It wouldn't wouldn't be Fedora without you. <laughs> Thanks.